Hey, welcome back everybody to another video. Today we're going to do something a little off the beaten path for the last couple videos that I made. I think the last eight or so I've talked about Entity Framework Core, which by the way, it's very useful to learn uh, if you access a database quite often. So feel free to go back and check this, but I wanted to kind of take a break real quick and do something a little different just to talk about how to get a stock price of any stock, really. It doesn't have to be just be AMC, which we're gonna do today, just because of how popular AMC is. Um, well, we're, we're gonna get the stock price in C Sharp in our .NET console application. I think it'll be something fun. Hopefully you'll learn a thing or two in this video. It shouldn't take too long. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, why AMC in particular, um, there's, a, there's a lot of stuff going on, let's just say with AMC. You're probably watching this in the future and you're like, why does he care? about AMC and maybe you don't know. Uh, but let me just show you the recent price of AMC in the last month. I think it's up 400 and some percent, yeah. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna create a client console application and we're just gonna use an API to get the price of AMC. But like I said, this can be used with any ticker symbol on the US stock exchange. So I guess a few things to note, what we're gonna use, I was trying to find different sources that we're going to request this information from via an API. And the best one I could find is this polygon.io. On their homepage here, they say they uh, work with Google, Stanford, Robinhood. Robinhood, I mean, come on, it's gotta be pretty good, right? Uh, there is a free tier, which is what I'm going to use. Caveat is you can only make five API calls a minute. So that's okay for me and a demo purpose, but maybe Maybe you're running some kind of like business application and you have to make unlimited. Uh, the next tier, sadly, is 99 bucks. So it's a steep price from free. <laughs> so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make an account on here. And that's what you get your API key through is making an account. And the API key, you can just think of as a password. When I go to query this and I say, hey, give me the price of this stock. Uh, that's how it knows that it should let me get that price. So... Um, I signed in, I created an account, and here is one API key I made. Don't worry if you try to use this when the video comes out, it's not going to be this anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and delete it. You can try it if you want. Um, so you'll wanna just go to API keys here on the left and have this ready. And here is how our URL is going to look when we make this call. It's just going to be uh, in the documentation here, it's called last quote for a symbol version two. And what this is doing is this URL is requesting the price of Apple, Apple stock, and then it says my API key is, and then it pastes it in here. So what I'm gonna do before we start with our console application, I'm just gonna make sure this works. So I have this application, it's free if you wanna go check it out. Just Google Postman, it's pretty sweet. Uh, it allows you to test APIs before you put it into code, which I enjoy. So let me put all of this in my other screen here. You won't be able to see it, but you'll get the point. So I'm gonna copy, that demo URL that they gave us with Apple. And I'm going to go back and copy my API key. And I'm just going to paste it right here. So Postman is smart enough to see that this is part of a query string. And this parameter API key has this value. And it puts it down here so we can easily change it. And instead of Apple, I'm just going to put, uh, no, let's keep Apple. Let's just keep it how it is. I put my own key in there. We have it set to a get request, which is correct. Let's hit send and just see what comes our way. And so this gives you a JSON response, but the part you want is in the results. And then inside of that, it's this P, it's the asking price. Actually, I'm sorry, I guess the lowercase P is the one that we want because what I did is I went ahead and I Googled what's the Apple stock price and currently, uh, if we go even in the after hours, because right now it's the stock market's closed, but it's still trading a bit on the after hours. It's $123.54. So if we go back to Postman, we can see that that is this value right here. All right, so the API works, our API key works, and now I'm just going to create a new console application in Visual Studio. Uh, so in my sake, I'm just going to create a new project here. And then what we want is, if I can find it easily, probably not. Just type in console app. And we want .NET Framework C Sharp. So this one right here, I'll hit next. And then let's just call this a stock API call. 
I guess. And the framework's fine. We'll hit create. And there's a few NuGet packages I want to download. One is for handling JSON, like this response that we saw here in Postman. This is all JSON. Um, so I want to be able to handle that in C Sharp. And then another package that we're going to download is called REST Sharp. I've done a few videos on that in the past if you want to go check those out. But we're going to use that to easily make GET requests in C Sharp. So we'll go to Tools here and then NuGet Package Manager, then Manage NuGet Packages for Solution. Here we can browse different NuGet packages that we want to install. So Newtonsoft's already on here. And that's the JSON one that we want. So I'll install this. And then we want REST Sharp. This one right here. And we'll hit install. That was pretty quick. So now if we go to references, you can see Newtonsoft's here and REST Sharp is right below it. Cool. So those are both installed. And I'm just going to import those or say we're going to use those at the top here with using statements. So using Newtonsoft, and we went a little farther in Newtonsoft. It's newtonsoft.json.link is the one we're using. And using rest sharp, just like that. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is build our client that we're going to use to call this API. And it's a rest sharp client. So I'm going to say var client is equal to a new rest client rest client and then we're going to pass in something and it's going to be the url that we're going to call when we make our request so in our case let me just copy from postman here because it has everything we need and i just copied and pasted the url that we used in postman and you can see here I said we're going to look at the stock price of AMC. So I'm going to change Apple here to AMC. But if you want to change it to something else like NVIDIA NVDA, I believe is the ticker symbol for NVIDIA or Tesla TSLA, you know, you can, you can change it up as you need to. But for our purpose, we're doing AMC just because it's a hot topic right now. Okay, and now we're going to create our request object. So we're going to save our request is equal to new rest request. And this can take in two parameters. So the first parameter, if we didn't fill in, so let's say we just entered this into our client. And we can actually fill in the rest of the URL as the first parameter, like this. And I can keep it like that. And you might want to do that because you might want to change part of it often. I don't know, that's my thought process. But I'm just going to keep it all in this uh, and keep the first parameter just a, an empty string. And then the second one is data format.json, which specifies to the API that we want this in JSON format. All right, and then let's get our response object, which is going to hold the response once we call this API. So I'm going to save our response is equal to new client, the client object that we created, dot get, because we're making a get request. And then we're just going to pass in the request object that we just created. So if I wanted to, I could do something like console.writeLine. And let's just do this just to, to show you response.content. And this is just going to return the string representation of the response that we get back. And then I'm going to put a console.write so it doesn't disappear right away. Or not write, read. Read, there we go. So let's run this and just see if it works. Uh, and you'll see why we want to use Newtonsoft to parse this because yeah, this is the response we get back, which is correct. Uh, it just looks a little different with formatting compared to Postman here. But the part that we want is this value right here. This is the current price of AMC, $51.02. In fact, let's just verify that. So let's just say AMC stock price. And if we go, it's 51.35 right now, but it could have changed since we made the request. So we don't want all this stuff, right? We just want this value right here, this lowercase p. So what we need to do is we need to get this string response because if we hover over it, we can see it is a string. And it says string representation of the response content. We want to turn that into a JSON object so we can easily take out the parts that we need. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create another object and call it JSON. And let me just stop this from running. 
and that's going to equal a j object dot parse. So it's a method that's going to parse a string, which is exactly what we want. We want to parse the response dot content, right? Because it's a string, and it's going to turn it into a j object or a JSON object. And now we can go ahead and navigate through this and say, give me the results, and then inside of that, give me the value p. And the way to do that in C sharp is actually pretty simple. So we do JSON, and then in these square braces, and in quotes, the first object in this JSON object we want to extract is results. And then inside of results, we're going to have another square brace following it and say inside of results, give me the P value, P being the key. Uh, and then this will give us this value right here for AMC. And just for the sake of things, I'm going to do a concatenated string and I'm just going to cut this. So we do the dollar sign, we can do this fancy um, where you can put a code value in a string and it'll write it as a whole entire string. And you'll see what I mean, uh, hopefully once I run this. So we can say the price of AMC is, and then we can have a dollar sign and then post the price from the API. So let's see if this works, hopefully this does. There we go, the price of AMC is $51.00. $0.20. Uh, we could find a way to add the zero, but you guys get the point. Uh, it's 51.20. So let's just do the same uh, just to show you that, like I said, you can do this with anything. Let's do Tesla. And then we can say the price of Tesla. And these are the only two things we need to change. Uh, we need to change in the URL and we need to change in our string because it's no longer AMC. So let's start and the price of Tesla is $573.11, which sounds right. Uh, I don't think I need to verify that. That sounds right on. So guys, that is how you get the price of AMC and C Sharp code with a few NuGet packages, which make it really simple. Of course, we probably wouldn't, uh, I don't wanna say we wouldn't need these NuGet packages, especially for the JSON, um, but you could probably do this a different way. But I think this, you know, we did all of this in what, six lines of code? Um, those NuGet packages make it very simple and very easy to do this. And having this free API is, is great also. So I don't know exactly what happens once you go past your five per minute. I'm assuming it gives you some kind of, uh, let's just try it. I'm assuming it gives you some kind of error message, but I'll hit it once. <laughs> I'm ready for it to blow up. There we go. Yeah, I've hit it more than five times, but it must have been pretty relaxed. It says you've exceeded the maximum request per minute. Please wait or upgrade your subscription to continue. So maybe if you really want to get into it, you can take this object and you can say, hey, if there's a status key in our JSON object uh, and the value is error, throw an exception or something like that or, or write this out um, if you plan on using this more than five times a minute. But uh, I think for an example purpose, it's perfectly fine to have the free tier. I would not pay 99 bucks uh, just to show this off. So thanks for watching guys. If you like this stuff, by the way, uh, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. Um, you guys have been killing it recently. Really appreciate all of you. And yeah, uh, hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care.